Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here to share with you guys a cute little project that I made. Um, I'm sending out, still sending out thank you things. Um, so I'm just trying to use up what I have and what I haven't used. As I'm cleaning my craft room and organizing all of my stuff, I am finding stuff. It's nothing like finding treasures that you know that you purchased years or months ago and you just hadn't gotten around to using the rest of it or using it as much as you thought you would. So um, I was in a phase where I was printing all things shabby off of Etsy. I was finding all these um, shabby digital download um, papers and they're just so pretty. Um, so like if you're not into a current paper pad, you guys know I love me some cream of paper. But um, sometimes I just want just simple shabby chic paper plain. So uh, no theme. And this is some of the paper that I found and I print them off on... 110 pound um, heavy card stock so I have found a huge stack of digital paper that I had downloaded if I find um, the Etsy shop I'll just go in my history and see if I can find the links to some of the paper that I used I will link that below also um, I just did a swap with Carolina who is Carolina creations handmade Carolina um, creations handmade so that was like my last swap project before my daughter has surgery which um i am heading out to later today super early in the morning so hopefully this video will be up if it's past the six then that means the video didn't save in time or didn't upload and i'm at the hospital and i am not going to walk robert through how to edit and upload a video over the phone so because he'll be here at night since only one parent can stay so if it's not up on the six then you know i had to come back and finish it up real quick and upload it so um I did the swap with Carolina and um, I was making this and I finished it up just last night so I think it's super cute it's um, an embellishment book um, so it's an embellishment box book I guess we're gonna call it um, so I have some different varieties of things that I want to put in the middle of the book so just to switch it up again a bit so when I get some time after I get back with her surgery in you know, a few weeks or whatever, uh, I'm gonna be doing um, a little mini tutorial series on these. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks, super cute. This is the first one that I, that I made. So when I make the others, I'll be making some width adjustments. Instead of making this two inches, I'm gonna make it three. So it could be a little wider and not um, just be so tight, which I, which is fine now, but I would like it to be a little bit more um, wider. But this is it, it has a cute shaker. Um, it's vellum up here that I have um, attached to top of a piece of the shabby cardstock and then underneath I just have blue and white and pink um, stars and sequins and beads cute and then I ripped some of the paper down here at the bottom and I just added some stitched holes no stitching just the holes the piercings and then I sealed it with some hot glue along this torn edge so that the sequins and mix and stuff can stay at the top I added some just some pull like I said I pulled things out of my stash I'm like oh I have a whole drawer of like tags and little ephemera that I could use so I just pulled these cute little acetate um, light bulbs out and I used some lace from my stash this came from a swap it was a set of four of them and somebody had made and added that in um, so I used that and also this is just somewhere from my stash it came off of something so I've I kept it on there it's super cute I've attached it using an eyelet and a brad and it was last minute because I was going to do some lace but then I had this on there that I put and I thought it was too much plus I didn't want the lace to cover across the sequence so at the last minute I added added this hairband and it's just attached with um, two pieces of circle circles basically and then I have a little handmade there so that's holding the book closed on the front I have lots of flowers this flower actually came in a recent rack that I received from someone on Instagram and then I added some of just flowers and things from my stash all of that so that's what I that's what I have for the cover and then when you open it up look how cute the presentation is as a gift 
it's a book box and I think it's super cute I posted a couple of these sneak peeks on Instagram so if you're not following me please check out my Instagram I do post like little videos and then later I'll compile them all together of course and make a YouTube video but you get to see the sneak peeks over there um so yep this is the look at this pretty paper is that paper gorgeous it's like patchwork quilt shabby paper super pretty just use all these little things that came in that was in my stash just grabbed it and you know and put it on there so on the left side this time this one so I was gonna mix and match I can make two of these and put them one on each side I can make two boxes one on each side one of each like I'm doing now I have some other ideas too that I'm gonna put um, make some more of these out of but it's a great way to package up your embellishments and once the recipient gets it they can re-gift it we can reload something of theirs and pass it along you can do, you can do a whole traveling sisterhood uh, book box swap or whatever <laughs> I don't know so in this front pocket there's a three is an accordion so that's how that looks and in this front pocket I just used um, a clear bag folded over some of the pattern paper and then I use the chipboard sticker that I had and I have some cute little envelopes in here with uh, those Tim Holtz uh, stickers that have you know little words on there used a tiny little flower from Hobby Lobby that um, colorful I can't think of the name of that collection poppies or something like that can't think of it but yeah just have four little envelope embellishments that note card of course comes out where you can the recipient can write a little message on there so I think that turned out super cute and that's the first embellishment or pack of embellishments then I created these cute little bicycles I saw them somewhere posted either on Facebook or Instagram or maybe it was a YouTube video I'm not sure they were bicycle embellishments and I thought they were so adorable um see if I have the die here I got the die from away 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 so whoops it's this cute little bike I think it's so cute and while I'm while I'm right here I'll show you the envelope die that I used so this piece comes out tucks right in here it's a cute little envelope but this is the bike super cute and I layered this one two three four maybe five times each to kind of make it as sturdy as possible so that's what I did there and I just added some little leaves that I punched out and some little flowers and a little pearl in the center of the spokes super cute and then there's pop dots on the back behind this the the spokes dot so that the recipient can pop it up and put it on a card so thought that was cute I got to get my lights back together because this somehow moved the shadow these I absolutely love look at them they are so adorable I wish I could open this but of course true nature I already sealed them but look at them <laughs> they're so cute I posted these on Instagram too without the packaging so you can check it out but these are the little bowls and I have that magnolia bowl die that's um you know this is the die and then the bottom is over there somewhere but I use that uh, it's called a bride's bowl and then I um, added another little piece and punched it out with this cute little um, Fisker's heart see a little heart I cut another after I made the bow I made um and I wrapped it you know around to secure the bow I made another little piece of paper there and punched it with the heart so I can attach this jewel this gem there off to the bottom and this idea was inspired by Bona who was live love scrap she'd done some flowers and and the flowers already had um, holes in them and she attached a charm from the flower so I thought it'd be cute this didn't have anything like that so I just made my own little piece and I thought it'd be cute to do them on bows so that's the um, other embellishment and then on this side I have a box that I created it's one inch um, thick and it's four by six so I have a little window here that I use to cut um, I use this die oldie but goodie cut that out on the top and then I cut it out again so that the inside is layered as well and then I put some acetate there in the middle cute little puffy sticker that says sweet and that's cute you could do a window or no window and then here I think it's always cute to give 
a set of cards so that the recipient can use them you know as they see fit and I used this die to create just this little fun element on there and then I used some Prima um, leaf dies or die um, to make the leaves and then I think there's one more flower this flower so um, yeah those are that's what I use to just create this little you know festive little scenery here at the top so that's that and then I just added some flowers and some stickles and that's just a belly band how cute is that layer it with two pieces of cardstock and then here are the cards very easy simple cards I made four envelopes using my envelope punch board very sturdy envelopes and then here are the cards using the leftover cardstock and they are three and a half by five or three by five maybe um, so yeah I just folded over some cardstock added the um, so little person that's gonna bug me I'm just gonna get that off real quick here we go so I just add the cardstock to the top basically is what I was trying to say before I was distracted by the little eraser marks so yeah leftover pieces that I didn't use for all that stuff I always try to finish that up with some type of card set if I can when I'm cutting paper I I kind of have that in the back of my mind to cut in a way where I can save something to include a set of note cards in whatever it is that I'm making so that goes in there safely this box goes on top really easy and um, yeah super cute idea like I said to give embellishments um, as a gift but this is a great way to package them up and it's recyclable because the recipient can then use it for themselves instead of hoarding it and package their own embellishments to pass on to someone else so oh, this little buddy come on in there, there you go yep that's the end of that so check the links so everything that I'm linking will be linked down below I'm not gonna link any dies because because I'm not gonna link any dies they come from over there so um, that's it so if you have any questions let me know and um, like I said if this video is not up on the 6th then of course I just didn't get it didn't get up something happened interrupted or along the way but um, I will be doing tutorials on this I just don't know when um, just when I'm able to get away from taking care of Kyla I will definitely have some options up all right guys I will see you guys in another video and like this one if you like it guys share it it helps out a lot leave a comment and let me know what you think I'll talk to you soon bye